Hey, and welcome to the new series. I'm Sanush, and this is White Knight. Uh, as you might immediately notice, I have luscious blue, blue, beautiful locks. I feel like that's very difficult to say five times fast. Blue, beautiful locks. Blue, ah, fuck it. Um, this is a Miku hat that I got at South by Southwest. I'm a huge Vocaloid fan, and I love Miku. Anyway, I'm going to wear this for the first couple episodes. I promise I won't wear it the whole time. So we're looking at a game that I played at South by Southwest, uh, or, yeah, South by Southwest, called White Knight. It's a survival horror, and the art is what really caught my eye. Um, I'm very excited to play this, so let's, uh, let's check the options before we get in. Let's turn on subtitles. Yes, there they are. I want, I want to get to the subtitles. Thank you. Back. Um, graphics. Full screen, yes. Default resolution, yes. And I think that should be good. Let's get started. I'm very excited to be playing this. Let me write down the start time. I forgot to do that. Um. Some nights are just pitch black. Without stars. And without sleep. Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery. Hunger. Despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned, this was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. If only I knew. If only I knew what? So look, immediately this is, uh, this isn't a filter I've put, this is actually what it looks like. It's super cool. I love it. it gives it like a gothic slash noir feeling. Has now's not the time to be meowing, I'm trying to record. So weird. My cat's a little inactive, so he might be a little bit more all up in my face more than usual. Okay. <laughs> Controller rumble. It tickles. Chapter one, out of course. Okay, th this isn't where it starts you from the demo. I don't, I don't fucking know. A, oh, oh, I'm moving. Oh shit. I wonder if I can die already. Let's, let's not find out. This is a cool way to do the credits. I like this. Game and level design, Ronan Koifik. Cool. Interesting, interesting. Oh, what's that? 3D environment. Can I drive on this side? I can. I wonder if I'll get hit by a car. Let's not find out. Sound design? I don't remember which one of these was the one talking to me. I know it was a guy. Um, about the game. They were the same guy that was talking about talking to me about Rayman and all that. Oh my god, watch out, I'm gonna hit it! That was close, man. Lake Noor. So I think I'm in Boston. I thought I saw a sign that said Boston. Caution, drive slowly. Oh, I'm going as slow as it goes, baby. It doesn't get any slower than this. I guarantee it. Wow, this is already very interesting. Actress? An actor? Writer, that's the guy that I met. I met the writer, that's right. I remember now. Oh, but that music was beautiful. Mystic River. 
Wow, this is a very white bridge. I mean, oh, hello. There's, there, there's something over there. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Well, right into it. The shock was still echoing in my bones, as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, the pain. The terrible pain on my side. And this question. Where am I? All right, and we're back. Morning, 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 sleepyhead. Time to wake up. Come on. Wake up. Also, this time I made sure my webcam's recording. Oh, I thought I was playing. I was like, am I playing? That, I mean, the thought process of a genius. I know. I accidentally hit the desk. Sorry. Despite the pain, using left stick to walk was still possible. Okay. I could examine the place using space or A. I'm using a controller, so. I'll be using A. The car was on the brink of death. And I hit that tree really hard. The girl on the road, the impact, I couldn't find her body. It's because it was a spoopy ghost. It wasn't what you thought it was. What's this? The box seemed to be connected, connected to the electric lighting of the street. Sorry, my pop filter's in the way. Let me, let me put it down a little bit. There, that should help a little. With the, the reading of the things. No body, no blood. Where did the girl disappear? Oh, I found something? This episode's gonna be a little, oh. For help, I could rely on the Boston Daily News, which I could check with why. Have I killed her? Who was that girl who crossed the road? I couldn't avoid her, but I never found her body. I couldn't get her desperate stare out of my mind, but I was wounded and I needed help. Cool. Um, but this episode is going to be a little longer than normal because, well, a lot of cutscenes, the beginning of the game. I think, uh, oh, I was going to say it's locked, but, oh, it is locked, okay. Oh, so, oh, okay, this is the classic, I need help, uh, so let's go into the creepy mansion scenario. With a weird twist, though, I'm, I appear to be a detective of some sort. I was trying to collect my thoughts, but the intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? I sure hope not. I mean, you do look pretty beat up. Let's, uh, let's see what's in this graveyard. Wow, this looks so weird. Oh, oh man, for a second I was like, oh my god, it's a person. Oh, Margaret Vesper, born Venter Cross. What about this over here? Can I... A bird table. Nothing more. I was in a graveyard earlier today in my photography class. It was very, very, very creepy. B. Norman, this name coming from nowhere was chilling. I agree. 
Oh god, just graveyards, I, I just don't like to be in them. I'm not afraid of them, they just make me uncomfortable. Henry Vesper, a relative of the landlord. The bucket had not been used for a long time. I, I'm guessing the, the thing of importance is this right here. The statue was staring at me with a white and hostile stare. Ugh. Fuck that. Can I pick up this, whatever this is? The statue had been moved recently. Okay, interesting. Maybe, maybe exploring's not in my best interest if I'm so mortally wounded. I guess I should hobble my way back onto the path. William Vesper, no date on the grave. All right, let's go. Come on, just, just hobble your way on over. There you go. Doing great. Let's, uh, let's go see what the door of the house holds in store for us. I'm sure it's something amazing. Oh, it's for sale. Great. That usually means great things. The arm came from a marble structure. Is he gonna go, th oh, I thought he was gonna go through that whole crouching animation and everything. Ain't got time for that. Come on, come on. Oh wait, did I miss the stairs? Oh, might as well go look at the well and that sign. Oh, what's this over here? Um, this unknown symbol let out a powerful aura. Okay. Ooh, nice shirt I have on. Now let's go inside. I promise we're going inside this time for sure. Oh, oh, wait. Did I already look at the well? I already forgot. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> I'm the first one to think of that. Up the stairs we go. What's this? Oh, a wine glass. Let's look, a wine glass chair, go inside. That's what we'll do. There was still some golden liquid inside the glass. Someone was here recently. Oh, letter from Martha Kenton to William Vesper. Under normal circumstances, I would have never tried to contact you. I am an honest woman. Oh, I have supported my husband since the blessed day of our wedding, from which two beautiful children were born. I have given them the best education I could, but today, I cannot afford to raise them properly anymore. We are ruined. My husband's employer went bankrupt. He is traveling from town to town trying to find a job while I have to beg for food every single day. My four years old son has a bad cough, which is getting worse and I fear for his life. Nowadays, we can see children die in the streets. Is this still America? I beg of you, who are rich. Only a few dollars would be enough. We could work for you. We live in the shack under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum by the Graham slaughterhouses. Don't hesitate to come. Martha Kenton. I had to adapt a more feminine voice because it was a girl. I didn't want to do that high-pitched, super girly stuff because then, you know, it's, it, I find that annoying. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. We'll find out. Come on, open up. I'm hurt, but I still have the strength to knock. The landlord was, the landlord was out, so the key might be around somewhere. So I'm just going to help myself? No one around. I was all alone, with my pain growing, and some nausea starting up. Well, where the crap do I go? Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. Couldn't see a thing. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive, too. Old and damp planks, which had fallen from the front of the mansion. Okay. I didn't mean to inspect it twice. Come on now. Um, jeez, I, I have no clue. Um, mm, I don't know. Uh, hmm. If I was a key to this old broken mansion, where would I be? What about those chimes over there? Oh, and a lantern. 
No use. The lamp had seen better days. Oh, well, never mind then. Hmm. It might be in the graveyard. I mean, it, it could have been like a... You can't activate this until you do a scripted part kind of thing. Let's, uh, let's see. The arm came from a marble structure, but there was no key in sight. Oh, okay. So maybe I could... Maybe now I'm supposed to go to the, the structure. Let's find out. Hello. Let me just hobble my way over. I'll, I'll be there in a jiff. Just give me a second. Give me a little time to... Oh, man. It's been a long day. Car crashes. Running into spooky ghost women. Hi. Oh. Did I figure it out? Am I gonna... Oh, holy crap. Interesting. Twisted, but the dead probably kept burglars away. I had the feeling I was about to desecrate a sanctuary. To open the door to a world I didn't belong to. Oh, you got that right. Lived in there, they would understand. I needed help. Anyone would understand that. Indeed, indeed. Let's go up here. Go up these stairs. Okay, so now I can get inside, right? Sorry, my face was itchy. Alright, let's go in. I, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm excited, man. I'm getting I'm somewhere safe. That's all that mattered. As the doors opened, the mansion seemed to react to my presence. There was a smell, like a cornered animal. A smell of fear. And yet, I entered the place because I had no choice. I was praying to find a phone, or some help. I didn't even bother wondering what happened to prayers when they reached the wrong door. Hey, end of chapter one. Oh boy. That was tough. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm moving. I am moving along. Mm. Of course there's no dial tone, man. You're in a scary, spoopy house. Hello. Hello. Oh, never mind. I need an ambulance. Can you hear me? I need help. Oh shit. What had happened? This cold. The darkness around me. I was usually not afraid of the dark. But there, on that day, I remembered I had a matchbox somewhere in my jacket. The urge to light a match was growing with every new chill running down my spine. In my pocket, I found a box of matches. I could get some light using B. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck was that? A door slammed. Chapter 2. Who answered? I couldn't forget that sound. That woman with dark hair was dominating the room. Who was she? Oh, matches. I was hoping to find more, but I had to make do with what I had. A peaceful landscape, the kind of place I would have loved to be. That beats the hell out of this, huh? The shovel was covered with fresh soil. 
Ugh, that doesn't seem good. What's this? I couldn't open it, it was no use. Wait, was that the hand symbol that I... Oh, okay. A hat, a man was living there. That's a, that's a safe assumption, yeah. Whoever lived here had a special taste for alcohol. I doubt I could get out. Locked, no matter. I needed help and it was in here. In there, sorry. This mountain landscape couldn't soothe me. Oh, there's a light here. All right. My light ran out. Two men on a small boat. A memory from an expedition? Encyclopedias. The edge was hardly readable. Okay, so it looks like I've got a good amount of places to go. By the way, I, I know it's like, oh, stop reading all this useless stuff. But in games like these, you gotta read everything. Locked. Of course. And no way to know what was waiting behind it. Great. So let's go through here. Or not. I couldn't go through here. Well, then now what? What 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 do? What what do? I hear a clock. There we go. What's this? Some African mask, a wooden face without a soul. Wait, was this always here? Did, did I just pass this? Okay, well, in we go. Ooh, you're creepy. What's this? August 25th, 21st, 1911. Margaret's Diary Excerpt 11. Suffocating in its useless illuminations. Oh, wait, it's a girl. And frills. The mansion, the mansion doesn't have the greatest befitting of fortune like the Vespers. It's the work of a degenerate romantic. It's like a stain in this century. I ordered the flower beds on the east side of the garden to be removed. They made the moving around complicated, and in summer, their scent was unbearable. I didn't talk about it to Henry, and he was quite upset. For the first time, I think I saw something like rage in his eyes. For a few seconds, he did look like a man. And then he shut himself back in his melancholy and played the piano all afternoon. His jazz again. This stupid music which reeks of debauchery and misery. Okay. Was it the glow of the accident I was seeing there? So he's still hobbling around a little bit, but not as much as before. I had to find a better source of light. box full of old science books. That's a creepy painting. Seeing the woman with the church candle, I was wondering where God was. A boy with religious dress, a house full of old traditions. Oh, whoa, I'm stumbling. Come on, man, get it together. Margaret's Diary, excerpt 12, August 28th, 1911. There you go, nailed it that time, good job. William is seven today. He is with Henry, running after the servants in the garden, dressed up like monsters from space. Games. Always games. The mansion is all upside down and their yells gave me an awful headache. I'm now cloistered in the office, unable to even pray. Henry's fantasies keep William away from his great destiny. I have to bring him back to me, as this will be my only chance to make a man out of him. To make him embrace the Venter Cross legacy. To show him the way. Henry is a dreamer and he has no ambition whatsoever. He can't teach him anything. Behind every great man, there is a great woman. Nonsense. Women should be on the front line. This, this is where the opposite brought us. I have no illusion about how little power the world is leaving in the hands of women. But William is young. He is the future. I will act through him. And may night finally fall upon this house. May William stop running after deceiving lights to find the place he deserves in this world. Interesting. Okay, I believe this is where the demo started. The crucifix was not comforting at all. 
because that library door seems very familiar. Nothing special about that wardrobe. Vesper. The landlords for sure, but not a very smiley couple. Oh, sweet. More matches. Oh, look. A light. Let's turn that on. Whoever that was, it currently didn't ring a bell. The armchair looked comfy. I could get some rest and save my progress. Alright. Sweet. So let's, uh, let's do that. I think we've checked about everything. What's this? There's something on the table I want to check. Comes darkness, October 29th, 1938. The time came when we stopped counting. We stopped counting how many companies closed in the past nine years. How many unemployed and families ended up in the streets, forced to live in slums around our cities. We stopped counting all the commodities wasted because nobody could buy them, throw into the sea or burnt. We stopped counting how many of our business partners fell with us. It was nine years ago, on October 29th, 1929, born from the sick and speculative belly of America. The crash would throw the world into the storm and darkness. We are still here, but we lost faith. And we stopped counting because these were just figures, because today they make us feel nauseous. Dawn seemed far at that time, and today, some think they can't see the sunrise. They seem to forget night, and darkness are always out there. Somewhere. Okay. So let's sit down. Save our progress. Ah. Nice and comfy, this chair. Are you there? Okay. All right. As I woke up, I had recovered some strength. I could run using U or X. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and end it here. This is episode one. And I mean, it's not scary yet. There's got to be the plot development. Got to get the story, the foundation, you know? So, um, yeah. Next episode, I'm sure it'll start getting a little creepy. Um, Whew, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Very, 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 very excited. So until then, you have a good day. Again, I'm Sanush. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see the rest of the series unfold. I'll see you then, okay? So bye.